definitely not a Nashville party. Cause all I see is Celeste. I guess I never got the memo. Let me turn it up. I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. The TV my favorite And the creepy song. The Salton Sea is California's largest body of water, formed when the Colorado River Irrigation Dam burst over the course of two years, filling the Salton Sea Basin in the early 1900s. The sea was once a place destined for leisure, inviting many outsiders, resort goers, travelers, and the average American for over a decade. It brought a myriad of economic stability during the 1960s. In the 1950s and 60s, Bombay Beach in California was a thriving resort. Guests swam, water skied, and golfed during the day, then headed to the yacht club to party into the night. Now, Bombay Beach is a bleached, rusted, abandoned wasteland. The water smells of salt, patrol, and rotting fish. The shores, once lined with sunbathers, are covered in green sludge and desiccated fish carcasses. It's now an apocalyptic landscape. As of now, the Imperial Valley is an agricultural hub in California. California alone produces about 13% of the nation's total cash receipts from agriculture. The Imperial Valley is one of California's top five producers of spinach, potatoes, cauliflower, broccoli, and onions, which provide for thousands of citizens. However, Imperial Valley and its residents do not reap the benefits from this huge agricultural economic gain. Imperial Valley has an unemployment rate of 17.5%. The U.S. average is 3.9%. The Salton Sea could be a huge opportunity to turn the lower income areas surrounding it into more prosperous and higher income earning families. So, as we know, California has one of the wealthiest economies in the world. However, on account of our current level of debt, we do not have the financial means to restore the Salton Sea with the Binational Canal. California is known as a sinkhole state where it does not have enough assets to cover its debt. According to the State Data Lab, California ranks number 49 for its fiscal health, earning it an F grade. According to a report done by The Truth and Accounting, California only has $114 billion available to pay off its $388.9 billion worth of bills, leaving it with $275 billion shortfall. Restoring the Salton Sea will only dig California into a deeper hole. We should, however, seek other more feasible options. Perhaps we can reallocate that money into an alternative plan that would achieve the greatest net for the residents surrounding the Salton Sea. Large-scale geothermal production is the perfect solution to finally end the debate on what to do with the sea. Geothermal is no stranger to the Salton Sea. In fact, there have been geothermal production in the region since the 1980s. Cal Energy, a subsidy from Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Energy, has been pumping out geothermal energy way before solar and wind power became cheap and abundant. These plants are rather small though, and only account for about 350 megawatts of energy. Along with energy, geothermal production also has the ability to easily extract lithium. Lithium is the crucial component in the development of rechargeable batteries that are found in many of our day-to-day -day electronics. Developers and engineers rely heavily on lithium to produce computers, laptops, tablets, phones, and in addition, the electric vehicle batteries. With this rise in demand for these electronics and electronic vehicles come a rise in demand for lithium. Obtaining lithium from geothermal brine as a byproduct of geothermal production is perfect and the most eco-friendly way to obtain lithium. Large-scale geothermal energy and lithium production are alternative methods that can be utilized instead of implementing the binational canal. 
Geothermal energy is a fundamentally efficient and sustainable method that can be capitalized on it as it can generate income and also create jobs for the Imperial Valley workers. Society would benefit from the usage of geothermal energy because it is not a significant source of pollution and it does much less damage than that of the burning coal for energy. The Salton Sea, as of now, does not contribute positively to California's economy. In its current state, all it does is drain money from California's taxpayers with costly plans to save the sea. However, geothermal and lithium production could be a way to make the Salton Sea beneficial to the state again. Controlled Thermal Resources, an energy company, wants to develop 1,000 megawatts of electricity here over the next decade. They say that it could power about 800,000 homes. In addition, large-scale production will cover most of what is left exposed by the drying sea and will keep dust and salt levels down. To put this into perspective, HY Power Industries purchased 1,317 acres of land to begin production of geothermal power at the Salton Sea. Rod Caldwell from Controlled Thermal Resources has purchased 1,900 acres of land to begin production of his geothermal plant and plans to have it done by 2020. This is a lot of land that will be covered and as a result, keeps salt and dust levels down. As mentioned earlier, the Salton Sea is one of the world's largest sources of geothermal energy, where the Earth's heat and pressure create hot water and steam to turn electricity generating turbines 24 hours a day. Where solar requires the sun and wind requires the wind, geothermal can be produced regardless of conditions. The cost of restoring the Salton Sea is estimated to cost upwards of $50 billion. Rather than spending this money on restoring the sea, we can use that money to not only help the sea, but generate more money into the economy by building geothermal plants. With companies such as Energy Source, Berkshire Energy, and Alger Alternative Energy, it is estimated that there is potential to produce up to 1,700 megawatts of energy in this region, enough to power more than 1 million homes. Let's look at the economic benefit of this. There are 1,000 kilowatts in one megawatt of energy. If there is a potential to produce 1,700 megawatts, this means that 1.7 million kilowatts can be produced. According to Cal Chamber, the average cost of one kilowatt in California is 16.7 cents. Imagine what the state could be making by buying and selling this electricity. In addition, it is estimated that 65.75 billion kilowatts will be able to be pumped out by 2050. That's billions of dollars that the economy is missing out on by not building these geothermal power plants. This is just the economic benefit from selling the electricity and is, it is estimated to actually be more than this if companies begin production. There are also smaller scale economic benefits that could help residents of the Salton Sea and neighboring communities. The current unemployment rate at the Salton Sea is 17.5%, while the U.S. average is 3.9%. Future job growth over the next 10 years is predicted to be at 7.4% at the sea, while the U.S. average is expected to be 33.5%. Under legislation enacted in 2013, planning and implementing projects at the sea will be driven locally by the Salton Sea Authority, with support from the state of California. This means that the large-scale geothermal and lithium production will be driven locally and create jobs for many residents. Energy Source estimates that their commercial lithium plant would generate $25 million a year in direct economic benefits, including employment salaries, utility payments, royalties and taxes, with an annual maintenance program infusing an additional $60 million into the local economy. While there has been much speculation and interest in large-scale geothermal and lithium production, so far none of the plans have actually been implemented. In 2014, Elon Musk offered $325 million to buy Symbol Materials, a startup that has been developed technology to extract lithium. While this seemed like a great idea, within a few months the startup had fired most of its employees and seized operations. In 2007, Warren Buffett's Cal Energy received approval to build BlackRock Power Plant, a plant that would have generated enough geothermal energy to power 200,000 homes. Construction did not begin and an extension was granted in 2011 and again in 2014. Rather than getting another extension, the company decided to move on from the project and nothing ever got built, though there are talks of potentially reapplying for a permit to build in the near future. 
I think geothermal and lithium extraction is the perfect solution to finally doing something with a solid sea. Companies such as Cal Energy, Energy Source, HY Power, and Thermal Controlled Resources need to get the ball rolling and finish their speculated projects. This will pump money not only into California's economy, but also the Salton Sea region economy, something that both desperately need. The Salton Sea isn't worth restoring from an economic and opportunistic standpoint. The sea is slowly but surely shrinking due to an evaporation with no natural inlet of water to the sea. At one time, the sea was a place for people to vacation, but now that it has shrunk and the area's air and water quality is so bad, it is time to reinvent that area and make it not only more economically efficient for the state to support, but also be a positive influencing factor for the surrounding area of the Salton Sea and the environment overall.